the dream I know Deep up my feelings feel the headlines. The president Sitakosa took Abubakar's comments against President Bola Mertunubu. But before we proceed with this news, welcome to Reality Letters, GC Home of News and Politics. Thank you all so much for joining us on today's news. If this is your first time of watching, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our video because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the trend and latest news happening on social media. You can send in your comments and keep the conversation lively in our comment section. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for staying tuned with us. To all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy and stay connected. The presidency on Tuesday tackled former vice president and presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, PDP, in February 25th, 2023 election, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, over his accusation that President Bola Metunobu is failing amid some security and economic challenges. The presidency described Atiku Abubakar's statement as reckless, alleging that the former vice president may have not recovered from the defeat he suffered in the presidential election. In the statement that was signed by Bayo Onanoga, the special advisor to the president on information and strategy, the presidency said that President Bola Metunobu is in touch with his lieutenant and security chiefs as he is in Paris, France on a private visit. The response that was given to Alaji Atiku Abubakar over his statement accusing President Bola Metunobu of fiddling amidst some security and economic challenges was tagged as reckless. And this was coming days after Alaji Atiku Abubakar made an equally reckless allegation against the president on the crude for loan deal. For NNPC Limited, his latest statement fell short of what is expected from an other statement, according to Onanoga. They said that they likely believe that Atiku Abubakar is still not nursing hangover of his electoral defeat and now latches on any issue to attack President Bola Metunobu. That President Bola Motunobu did not travel without informing Nigerians of his whereabouts. That he announced a private visit to France and he announced a return date. While in France, President Bola Motunobu has been following development at home and he is on top of the situation in the country. So, today's inauguration of the Tripartite Committee on National Minimum Wage bore his approval. So, he is in constant touch with his officials and security chiefs. And he has directed them to stamp out every form of criminality in the country. He has particularly ordered them to apprehend those criminals responsible for the murder of the two monarchs in Ekiti state and the kidnapping of some pupils in the state. So they are already seen results with the arrest of over 139 kidnappers around Abuja, Kaduna and Benue state in the last one week. The police special intervention squad and DSS have also rescued 154 abducted persons in the last few days. Just last week, the special advisor to the president on information strategy, Onanoga, said that President Bola Metunobu have approved 50 billion as share fund to address some of the lingering security challenges in the northeast, where Alaji Atuku Abubakar hails from. To cope with the kidnapping challenges in the federal capital territory. President Bola Ahmed Tunubu has also approved funds for the acquisition of equipment to track criminals. So the presidency is saying if Alaji Atiku Abubakar is really concerned about security issues and not playing cheap policies, that he should have known that President Bola Ahmed Tunubu is on top of issues and he is working hard to restore peace to every part of the country. And the security agencies are working very hard to bring the security situation under control that President Bola Metunubu is giving them all the necessary support they need to win the battle against criminal elements and secure every inch of our country. <laughs> so guys, I would like to know your thoughts on this. Do you think Nigeria will be better? Dollar is now 1,500. This one don't pass calamity. Until the youth realize that it's a fight between the politicians and the poor citizens, not a fight between tribalism. As we all know, the problem in this country has increased drastically. Everyone is suffering just because some set of people want their own to be in power, not considering if he will lead us where or not. This is exactly what happened in Abia State 2015 and 2019. They want their own, and their own left the state in a very bad shape. We have to be serious and see ourselves as one and vote for the right person in for the job. Then things will start getting better a bit. Because this is too much and some persons are not okay with it. 
almost a year into his tenure and inflation keep increasing almost 30 percent nera has been constantly depreciating and dollar keep rising hey are we going to survive this honestly to feed now is a luxury talk more of buying something to wear the insecurity is just too much in every corner of the country do we deserve all this as nigerians living in our own country nigerians are we going to fold our hands and watch us being killed like chicken and nobody's doing anything about it so guys let's keep the conversation lively in our comment section we'd we'll love to hear from you but if you haven't subscribed to our youtube page yet please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our video because i'm sure you don't want to miss out the trending and latest news happening on social media to all our amazing subscribers thank you all so much for staying to with us we really do appreciate on this note we have come to the end of today's segment to like come your awareness stay safe guys bye That's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fan, that's what they call me I promise that you That you never be lonely Be the fan, that's what they call